It may sound grandiose, but the IGF does have, with other processes, the potential to change, indeed, not the world, but m more the way humans organize themselves and communities and interact to govern themselves. Uh, I often say that um, history is about the constant effort of mankind to find new ways and better ways to organize themselves. So the IGF is one of the two laboratories for the so-called now multi-stakeholder interaction, the other one being ICANN. IGF deals with the format for agenda setting, issue framing, and initiating thematic networks around issues. ICANN is in a very specific domain, providing one of the first regimes, I would even say the first multi-stakeholder agency at the international level that deals with a specific subdomain. So one is able to make decisions, ICANN, and the other one is basically shaping the, uh, the, the decisions. And the reason why I mention this is because I believe the Internet governance space is the laboratory for a broader applicability of this new interaction format between government, civil society, and the private sector. I expect this to progressively migrate in other institutions from the UN system and outside the UN system, who are connected, which are connected to the IGF. It means UNESCO, the ITU, um, it means um, maybe WTO and, and WIPO. But when this will be established, it will also percolate in other fields, because if it works here, it can work for other global issues. The second dimension is that it will also spread at different levels, and the development of national and regional IGFs is creating the embryo of a global internet governance network that will be structured on an issue-by-issue -issue basis.